Smoke speck of Ollie Goose is my favorite, favorite thing to make when I'm out hunting or fishing. Uh, what I do is I take a young speck of belly goose or, or old either way and I go ahead and brine it for 24 hours either a wet brine with salt and sugar like I did here or a dry brine a seasoned salt but uh, once you take it out of the brine dry it off stuff it with onion and orange and we're gonna give it a bacon armor all the way around it I use a little more than half a pound a little less than a pound of bacon when I wrap it up like this just using toothpick uh, then we're gonna throw it on the grill we're gonna grill it between 200 and 250 for two to two and a half hours and then we let it rest and carve it up all right we have our bird just about ready to go there she is wrapped in bacon seasoned up notice one wing is gone on this bird but that's okay i just put a water pan in there uh, and i'm gonna put the water pan uh near the the heat entrance here. Uh, I want that to kind of steam up, keep everything moist inside of there. All right, I think that'll do just fine. Let's put that bird on. Where are we at? We're still around a little over 250. Uh, I wanted it to get a little warmer. I checked it a little while ago and it wasn't quite ready. It's starting to look good though. Oh my. Oh my. My new thermometer here has a light on it. One. 143. Look at our smoke speck of belly. It is at 147. Good enough. How does that look? I'd say I'd eat it. Like a smoked goose? I'd say I'd eat it a lot. Alright, all right, let's let it rest. A little foil and uh, let that rest for a few minutes. Well, we went ahead and I smoked it for, I guess this was about two and a half hours on, um, uh, on a pit that was in between uh, uh, 200 and 270. With these geese, it's okay if they come out medium rare. In fact, sometimes they're better that way. But this goose here, as I'll show in the video, uh, was brined uh, overnight. And uh, I gave it a light seasoning of a, of a game rub that I made that uh, consists of onion, garlic, cumin, brown sugar, salt and pepper. Um, and that one, there might be some oregano. I can't recall exactly what was in that, but I don't think it matters much. Um, you know, we're not heavily seasoning it. Um, what I think matters more is that it was stuck. All right, first I'm gonna get the one good wing off the goose here uh, you see there's a bone that comes off the backbone I'm gonna go on top of that bone I'm gonna slide against the carcass there and I'm gonna take a little bit of the breast meat with it there you go. once that is cut around we're just gonna pop it on that ball joint oh that looks fantastic look at that Mm. I'm just going to cut the tendons in there. And that right there is fantastic. I'm just going to dip it in those juices. And we'll get back to it in a minute. All right, next I'm going to take off the leg. And similar to how I did the wing, I'm going to take a little bit of the breast meat with it. I want to get down along the base here to get as much of that thigh in it as possible. I'm going to come down, try to get a bunch of that fat with it. I like that, that fat right there. Now I have that cut down. Oh, it's hot. Pull it back, break that ball joint, and I can finish harvesting that all right there. off some of this meat right here and this right here makes the best sandwiches the next day
I don't think that needed to cook any longer. Actually, that looks fantastic. Yeah, you see it's a little, a little juicy on the inside. That's perfect. And then along the center rest plate there, just fill it right off. You can come in here and then cut around the, the wishbone. About like that. Boom. All right, so beautiful, beautiful goose. One of the best parts of the bird is uh, underneath that bone where we came and took the wing off, that bone right here. If you can find it, try to get up underneath there. Lift it and then hug that there. Kind of like a back strap on a, on, a, on, a, on a venison. How's that taste? Delicious. I know, it's super, super tender and delicious.